Uh, here's a demo of my amazing cleaning setup. We have our lovely reservoir strapped to a bottle of champagne with some peach juice under it to hold it up. And all of that is in a little closed loop uh, with some vinegar and water in there. Uh, some quick disconnects and then uh, we have the part that we're cleaning. So in this case it's our 360 rad, then I'll put the 240 rad and then the graphics cards and the CPU block. Um, and yeah, so this should clean out our all the Mayhem's Aurora uh, micro particles uh, from the blocks. Well, I hope it will. And then um, we should be set to uh, build this whole thing back up in the 750D. So, yeah. So here I'm cleaning out my graphics cards. So we have two Hydro Copper Titans here. Um, with our little bootleg setup um, and I have some water with some vinegar running through there I'll have this running for about an hour maybe uh, and that should hopefully clean out uh, all the gunk that's uh, built up from the Mayhem's Aurora coolant uh, once that's done uh, I'll do the same thing for the CPU block and then once we're done with that uh, I can hopefully start assembling this whole thing in the 750D over here so yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, so I want to show the build up that you get with this Mayhem's Aurora coolant. You can see on this quick disconnect fitting, uh, just the gunk that builds up around there. Uh, and it's really worse on the quick disconnects, but there's also a little bit of this on just the normal fittings. Uh, so what I'm doing is I have this little cleaning facility here and I'm really just going at it with a toothbrush and some warm water uh, with some like dishwashing soap in it. Uh, you can also see this build up on the tubing. Uh, this tubing here was completely transparent when I first got it and now it's completely opaque because of the uh, thin build up of the Mayhem Aurora coolant. So you really want to avoid using this uh, at all costs. Even though it looks amazing, it really doesn't last uh, and it's really just not worth the cleanup that I'm going through right now. So yeah, I really just have to get the CPU block in this little makeshift, makeshift loop and then uh, once that's nice and clean, I'll start assembling it. And finally, here's a quick look at the CPU block running in the loop. So we're almost done. So I'm starting to mount some of this stuff in the case. Uh, I already have my motherboard, my RAM, uh, my CPU, and my CPU block in there. Uh, I also drilled a hole to uh, fit the reservoir. Unfortunately, I had to lose the cable management grommets, um, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, so I'm starting to think about airflow now, uh, and I, it looks like I'm going to be switching uh, these front fans. I'm going to switch them around, so they'll be throwing air out, uh, they'll be pushing air out, and then I'll have air coming in from the top, uh, and the top radiators, and from the back here. And so they'll go from the top and the back, all the way through the case, and out the front. So I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Uh, so yeah, now I'll start mounting my radiators uh, and my tubing and stuff, uh, and then we'll see them. Also my SSDs, uh, I luckily could mount them uh, in two of the spots. The other two SSD mounts I had to take out to make room for the reservoir, which now is a bit dirty, but hopefully you won't be able to see that once the water is in it. Uh, I had some real trouble trying to clean that. Uh, and then I'll just throw like a hard drive in the five and a quarter inch bay and that should be fine. Uh, so yeah, I'll get to that. A uh, quick disclaimer to anyone trying to mount these stock Corsair fans. They break super easily. Uh, I was just I was just screwing this uh, this piece in and I didn't even feel like it was tight yet and it had already broken. 
Uh, I also noticed there's a little crack on the top too. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, be really careful if you're mounting these stock Corsair fans. It shouldn't be a uh, too big deal, but yeah, just be careful.